I'm one of the few persons that the Lord showed the lockdown coming. December 25th, 2019. And I didn't just come and say, oh, there's a lockdown coming. No, the Lord, I saw padlocks on people's houses. And the Lord said, why the lockdown is coming is because 2020 would be a year of the indoors revival. And people will be brought into their houses to pray and seek the face of God because of the years ahead. If you follow Salem, you'll discover that we don't just give teams for here, we give prophetic directions for here. In 2020, the world was confirmed. You don't see anybody celebrating it because they don't want you to be identified as a prophet. <laughs> as trivia as AFCON is, on Saturday before the match, the match was Sunday, right? Saturday, I wrote something on my personal Facebook. I see, when I write these things, to discourage gambling, I hide it. I lock it. So that when the word is fulfilled, then I bring it out there. But so that someone will not say, okay, he wrote something and he's not sure. We came on Sunday and I spoke, I spoke from what I wrote in parables. Oh, oh, this is what is happening. This is what I saw. These people... We are defending their flag, trying to stop our people from equalizing. Oh, pay attention to the left wing and just. <laughs> and when the word was fulfilled, you know, we brought out the one we wrote so that you can see that there's no edit in it. It was written. Somebody came and said, oh, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get the prophecy. We didn't. <laughs> so guess what? They picked the Sunday part that I was just talking in parable, just, just taking just some few small, small keynotes from the one I wrote. They picked only that one, then they left the other one that, that, that was confirmed clearly. Where you are telling them, this is the, around this minute and this minute, the match will be decided. These people are going, <laughs> they got that person. But you see, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what was the prayer of the prophet? That's how you will know what is the interest of this part? What did I pray for on Sunday? He said, let this unite us. Let this unite Africa. Have footballers who follow me. This is people's career. Others came out and said, why are you prophesying about fo football? You've reduced the prophetic. So football now is not, it's not someone's career. I can prophesy about your business. You see people talking, talking, talking. And Oga, tell us one accurate word that has come out of your mouth. Quick to talk. You see, I speak to, I, I don't play bias games. That's simple truth. I will not come out here and tell you that prophesying about football is wrong and is bad simply because a prophet I don't agree with doctrinally in some areas is prophesying about football. That is unrighteousness. Because that thing you are seeing as entertainment is someone's career. There are Christians that are in that football team. There are those that are, in, that are part of the staffs. They, you don't know who the coach is. They, are, they pray to God. They say, Lord, as we go out today, show us mercy. Show us grace. We just talk about because you are looking at it from your own little perspective of, oh, baby, this is just entertainment. Don't think we are saying this thing to entertain. You are blaming the prophet for speaking. You are not blaming the spirit for revealing. If you are saying we reduce the prophetic to football, then it means you are shaming the spirit that has revealed it. Be careful not to sin against the Holy Ghost, sir. He said that men may know that the most high what? Rule it in the affairs of men. Men we are building, God came down to look at what they were doing. Towa of Babel was a building construction. Let's not be biased, brethren. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Maria Kosi Namanankaino. Aile Lama Masalo. Yes, so we see the signs of the prophets revealed. It's revealed. It's revealed. I've told you about signs that will happen this year, and they're already playing out. I told you, pray for April because all these things you are seeing as, as pain, hardship, this, it will peak in April. But there's going to be consolation. 
for those that the Lord has chosen, at least from July. He told me that it's going to be healing. Six months of just pure healing. For there to be healing, it means there will be wound. So guess what? I can say from that word, most economies will begin to recover from July. You begin to see a recovery here, recovery there, because the word is what? It's going to be healing. And then guess what? 2025, year of, of dominion. There's going to be a lot of talks about military, 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 invasions, invasions, invasions. Occupying, occupying, occupying. Flags of another nation will be planted in this nation. This embassy will be moved out totally and you just see all kinds of occupation happening. And this 2025 is going to be three years, three and a half years. So 2026, 20, all is still 2025. The same way till now, we are still in 2023 because the 2023 season ends in July. And the 2024 season is going to last only for, for one season, six months. I, I'm telling this thing, my spirit. It will come to a time, you see the United Nations of Africa. Three nations will start it first. Because of the occupying that will be coming. So much influence in Africa where other countries will now be dominated literally by foreign powers. And then they'll say, no, we have to keep Africa original. Let's form a union. And I saw these people having common soldiers. It's okay. Our military might are going to dress as one. There's a black and red. I told you by the Spirit of God, I said the church is entering into a season of reconciliation because I looked in the Spirit and I didn't see people gathering in their house anymore. Men had to hold hands to pray together. A season of great intercession is about to come upon the church where we pray for each other. Forget about all these things you are saying. What a powerful message for the year 2023 and 2025 and also for the body of Christ. So guide you ahead what the man of God has said and also how God revealed to him the lockdown. I'm not really going to talk much, but there are some few things I want us to talk about. I don't know your opinion, your thoughts. But after hearing what he has to say, I want to know what you are feeling like, what you are thinking at the comment section below. And also, before I start, please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly pause this video, subscribe, comment, like, share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content. And also, don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever we upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you thank you for supporting our channel god bless you as you do so so guys let's get back into the video there are some few things he talked about in this video that i really want to throw light into it's not that i'm coming here to say oh what he's saying is not good or what he's saying is perfect and all that but there are see when you hear the truth you just need to see it there are some things he says in this video that are actually nothing but the truth first of all he starts with the lockdown which we all know what happened in 2020 and it started from 2020 2019 and it ended up in 2020 which you all know a lot of countries around the world are still yet to recover from that incident t date as you all know uh, lockdown wasn't easy not just for a particular continent nor country it was for the entire world and a lot of people are still coming up till date after um covid19 as you all know he says that he saw it god revealed it to him november of 2019 concerning the year 2020 and what is going to happen yes once in c there's another thing that i want you guys to take serious some people will come here and say oh he gave a prophecy he didn't come to pass what he says it didn't happen mind you after a prophecy is being given these men of god go on their news the first day or night just to make sure that that particular thing doesn't happen and another thing, when it happens, so people say, yes, he's my man of God. More oil, more grace on your head, sir. More this. Come on. 
my dear brothers and sisters when we see the truth we should always call it the truth and when we see the wrong we should also say oh this particular thing is wrong and there are things that men of god are saying him apostle Aramir osai and some few others they are actually saying that this year 2024 it's going to be a year of taunts it's going to be a year that it's so so difficult for people but in that means of that difficulty there are going to be a greater things ahead you should tap into it you should tap into opportunities around you why others are crying and some people say hey, is their children is their come on use your mindset like i said in my previous video that this is when you see opportunity you see people want to sell their property if you have the funds grab it because things is going to be normal again it's not going to continue like this forever or it's going to continue like this to the end of this year it says that the year 2024 is going to begin in july and july is just around the corner which is like three to four months away from now if we want to count to what are you waiting for my dear brothers and sister we should grab this opportunity we shouldn't feel reluctant and say oh it doesn't really concern me it doesn't matter this one that one i'm okay i'm not okay it's that bad matching men of god and say oh this that please my dear brothers and sisters stop it and focus on what they are saying it says that this month of april is going to be a month of reconciliation from the lord and also the body of christ the church are going to hold hands together to say that oh we are praying for each other we are interceding for each other we should forget about the things we are seeing on social media and that is another thing that i want to tell you guys a lot of people take um like the beef of this man of god to heart to the point that they start bad matching a uh, man of god online they'll come and say yes my man of god is more powerful than yours my is this my papa my this my that like all manner of things so you should be careful with the kind of things you say and he says it after predicting the half con and all that and what uh transpire between him and uh is it in your um, in jerry a lot of people were saying oh this man of god is fake this one is original they are challenging each other for prophecy if you are truly a prophet or not so you see there is going to be a reconciliation in the body of christ so what do you think tomorrow you see those men of god in the same church in the same environment who are you what is going to happen to you that you have taken their fight in your heart, in your body, in your soul. How will you feel? So you shouldn't be bitter because this man of God is your papa, is your spiritual father, is your this, is your dad. When it's happening, try to learn how to pray for God to intercede. Learn how to keep quiet and watch God display. Because that half gone prophecy, it has saved is a prediction this one will say oh i was offered this amount of money to change the face of the game i remember you but angel talked that he was over one million dollar for him to go and seek the face of the lord to change the game so you come here and say oh yes my papa said it you um he's fake he's not really a man of god he's not that he's not this we should stop all those things it doesn't lead us anywhere as christians we should love each other we should love one another just like the way christ loves the church so we shouldn't come here and say oh because he's my man of god because he's my spiritual father if he's beefing this man of god i'm also going to join the trend i'm also going to beef the other man of god and also he talks about the economic setup of 
every country in the world that is going there is going to be a stance a standstill from the month of july so there's another thing i don't want us to take a whole lot of things for granted the way you see that your currency is bad now before you know you wake up one morning you saw that things are shoot up from the way they used to be so that is god at work because god is not going to forsake his own and also he talks about um three country in africa so sorry to say two country in africa merging together to form the united nation of africa because he sees that the westerns are coming to take over see there's something i used to say in my video is that you see all these chinese foreign currency a uh, foreign um companies coming here to dominate more than our local um, companies here and they are still over the roof and you see you think it's ordinary they have planted their seed and it's already germinating and these things they don't they didn't start it from today because you cannot just come because of what our government have done they have gone to brew money they have gone to do this they have so when those people come they dominate our local products doesn't add value or you see them as if they are the local um companies here but no they are not they start producing you see one company producing up to 20 products what do you call that what do you call that it's only in africa that you see such thing happening I'm not saying that one particular company cannot hold, owns a lot of products and all that, but you see a product, um, a particular company producing cement, rod, detergent, soap, drinks, so on and so forth. I can mention it's only in Africa that we allow that to happen to us. We always say that, oh, it doesn't concern me anything. Now our government have so it concerns you because they are not just damaging your today they are also damaging your tomorrow for your children what do you think will be the fate of your children if we let these people take over our resources and be in our lands what do you think will be our fate so we should mind the kind of things we wish for oh let them come so that they will create job opportunity after us they are creating job opportunity for us more than our governments are doing my dear brothers and sisters learn how to treat learn how to hawk if there is no job opportunity from your government you shouldn't just put your hands and say oh these people are coming these foreign companies are coming to create awareness and job opportunity for us no they are just coming to milk us that is just the truth but we always believe that oh no they are not coming to milk us they are not coming to do that they are coming to help us they are coming to create job opportunity a particular company open and they're able to employ up to five thousand staff tell me is it the same amount of salary they pay in the western world is that the same they pay in africa here you work from six to six how much do you get you run shift for six seven eight hours you don't even get quarter of what they pay people in the western and we feel like oh it's okay yes because they have come and up to five thousand they employed five thousand staff and that is okay for us do you know what has gone down between them and our government the agreement no we don't know some of us we don't even really know what is happening in our country talk more of our nation and the world at large once they can get what they will eat, pay their rent, get what they will wear, they are okay, they are satisfied. What comes after it doesn't concern them. But life shouldn't be like that. In as much as you come online, you pick up your phone, you buy data of 100 naira, and you can type all manner of things when you see some men of God fighting or they give prophecy that doesn't suit you or doesn't sit well with you. You see all manner of things on social media. Please. Life shouldn't be that way. Things shouldn't be done that way. Let's join our heads together as Christians to pray. And we shouldn't badmouth anybody. Irrespective of who. If what 
that person is doing he or her tradition does not sit well with you just overlook and move on that is just it you shouldn't come and say oh you must talk some people will come here i wonder do you even have the fear of god in you do you have conscience they will drop all manner of comments yes i want everybody to speak their heart to, to tell how they're free after hearing what they have said but there are some kind of thing that if you are typing does your conscience judge you at all that is what i just want to know so guys that is it that is what i just want to say so before i go please if you have not subscribed to our channel can you pause this video subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber i can always say god bless you for always tuning into our channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you very much for watching you are blessed mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, go, I said, hey.